Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as many of you know, I am getting married in just a few months and what a better way to start off the wedding festivities than with a bridal shower here in California with all of my friends from the Ken community. And there are so many things that go into planning a shower from decorating the venue, designing the favors, and baking the cake. So we all put together videos, we're doing this collab together. If you guys wanna see everybody else's videos, I'll have the link down below in the description box. All I've had to worry about is my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. So if you guys wanna get ready with me today, see how it all comes together, let's go ahead and get started. The look I'm going for today is something pretty simple, but it's something that I do all the time and I know I can trust it, I rely on it. It's going to look great in photos, it's gonna look good in video. I'm just doing something kind of bronzy and simple and I'm excited about it. I like to start out with a fresh, clean face. I do have moisturizer on, but make sure there's no SPF. That can kind of flash back in photos. And the next step is just to prime your skin. So priming is gonna really help out with the texture of your skin. It evens out your pores. It makes your skin look really flawless. I'm using the Benefit Puff Off Primer, and I'm also using the Mali Beauty Primer on my eyelids. I love this one because it's kind of like a two-in-one. It also has a concealer in it to even out the skin tone on your eyelids. To put it on, I like to use a little flat top concealer brush, but then I blend it out with my fingers to really give it more of a natural look. And then I move into foundation. For my look today, I want something that's really full coverage and really mattifying. So I'm using a MAC foundation with just a regular stippling brush. After I'm done with that, I'm going to set everything with powder. This is really gonna help with the longevity of the look, make sure it lasts all day, and make sure I don't get shiny. So I'm using the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder all over my face with a Bare Minerals flat top brush. Then I like to do some highlighting and contouring. This is really gonna bring that dimension back into my face and make me look alive and fresh. So I'm using a bronzer all over my face. I like to kind of keep it on the outside edges of my face and then I go in and really contour and kind of carve out my cheekbones. I do a little bit on the side of my nose. For contouring, I like to use this big fan brush. I actually got this years ago. It was really cheap, but it's kind of like an oldie but a goodie. So it's great for carving out your cheekbones and really bronzing the skin at the same time. Next step is blush. This is my favorite part because it can bring a little bit of color back to your face. So I like to stick with the NARS blush. It's called Deep Throat. It's more of like a pinky peach color. I think it'll look great on any skin tone, any hair color, and it goes great with any outfit. It's one of those blush colors that I know is gonna look good for any occasion. And the last step for my face today is going to be applying a little bit of a highlight powder. This one's from Urban Decay, and I like this because I can apply the highlight exactly where I want it. I don't have to put it all over my face. I have a lot of control with it. So I'm just gonna apply it to the top of my cheekbones and a little bit down the center of my nose to give my skin more of a glowy look. So we've already put a little bit of bronzer through the crease of the eye, but just to make that look more bronzy and more smoky, I'm gonna add in a little bit of this NARS shadow stick. It's in kind of like a copper rose gold shade. Adds a little bit of sparkle in there. Put that all over the lid, and then I blend it in with my finger. I keep it really simple. I do have eyelash extensions, so I go ahead and skip the mascara, but if you don't, right here is where you'd wanna apply your mascara and your eyeliner. For the lips, I like to apply a few different colors. That gives it really a dimensional look. So I like to go in with a Milani nude colored lip liner around the outside edges of my lips, and then I'll apply a nude pinky lipstick. This is a matte formula, so I apply that all over, and then I go in with a gloss just on the center of my lips. This really helps them look fuller too. Okay, so I think I'm about finished with my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up my hair a little bit, tease it, and then put on my clothes and get dressed for the day. I like my hair best when I've slept on it a few days, when it's a little bit dirty. It gives me more volume and it looks more natural. So this is actually third day hair that I'm working with today and I'm just gonna touch up with my curling iron, add a few curls around my face, make sure I spray it with some hairspray, but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and just go with more of a natural look today. All right, so my hair and makeup is finished. It's almost time for the shower, I'm really excited. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my dress on. You guys are gonna love it. I've been waiting weeks to show you guys. All right, I went ahead and put on my dress. I picked this up at Lily Pulitzer. If you guys want the same one that I have, I will leave the link down below so you guys can check it out. She's one of my favorite designers, so any chance I get to spend some money on her clothes, I do it. So I picked out this great dress, and I'm just pairing it with some nude heels that I actually got from TJ Maxx. And of course, I love to layer on and pile up the jewelry too. So I'm wearing a few gold bangles and some white dangly earrings too. All right, so this is my complete look. I hope that you guys like it. Try it out if you have a special occasion coming up. I'm getting ready to head to my bridal shower now to meet up with all my friends from Kin Community. If you guys wanna see how the whole shower plays out and how everything happens, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box and you can follow along.